Hi, this is Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. Today I'm going to show you an example of automation in Excel with Milestones Professional 2023. To get started, I'm going to go to the support page on kidasa.com and then click on Automation Help in the bottom left here. And then for this example, I'm going to do Microsoft Excel VBA Examples. And for this one, I'm just going to do Excel VBA example number one. So if I click on the little plus, I can kind of expand it. And this is going to kind of show you what the Excel file looks like, and then what the final milestones professional schedule looks like. And then you can actually see the code if you scroll down a little bit, kind of um, how that code uh, works and everything. And then I'm just going to actually download the example. So the example is going to contain the uh, template file as well as the code in the Excel. So let's just go ahead and download that. I would recommend two things uh, to make your life a little bit easier here. If you extract the files directly into your documents folder, um, it'll be a little bit easier because Milestones is going to be looking in that uh, documents folder for the template we're going to be using. That's kind of the default location for that template. You can change the folder within Milestones, and I can show you guys that. Um, but if you put the MTP file into your Documents folder, um, then the um, Excel uh, automation will just um, be able to find that template file. Uh, and another thing you need to do, um, depending on your version of Windows, this is Windows 11 right here, so I actually need to right-click on the Excel file, this Milestones Olay Excel, um, example one, right click on that and go to properties and you have this option since we downloaded this excel file from the internet um, it's saying it came from another computer and it might be blocked um, so you can just click on unblock uh, for that and press ok otherwise you won't be able to actually access um, the code and actually do any of the automation uh, with this example file um, so i'm going to press ok and then I'm going to open up the Excel file. So just double click on that. And then you can see it has a security warning here. So I'm just going to say enable content. So if I want to actually see the code, I'll have to actually go into the file tab inside Excel and go to options. And I need to activate the developer tab. So if I click on options, uh, you have this option here, customize ribbon. And if you scroll down, there's a developer tab. If you don't have this um, showing, then you'll need to come in here to, you know, file options and customize ribbon, and then just check that developer tab right there. I'm going to press OK. And so now this developer tab should show up. And to actually see the code that we're going to use, I'm going to click on macros. And we've got this create outline schedule uh, code. And I'm going to click on Edit so we can just take a look at that. So here's the code. It's in this Module 1 right here, uh, Create Outline Schedule. And I'm not going to be going over you know, all of the kind of code here. Um, but this example basically has this earliest day, latest day, and then later that's used to calculate the date range of the schedule. Um, I'll show you that a little bit further down. And this is the template it's going to be looking for. So if you have an error here, um, like I said, you need to put it in the Documents folder, which is the default folder for personal templates. Um, if that's not the folder, I'll show you in Milestones uh, where to see what that folder is uh, here in a little bit. Um, and then it basically just walks through uh, tasks 1 through 17. You can see it has, um, you know, add symbol. That's one of the um, milestones automation calls and then it just has a bunch of variables and I'm going to show you guys inside milestones where you can actually see all of these different calls and kind of what all of the uh, various um, you know variables and stuff are that get passed uh, back to milestones and you can see it just kind of goes through and then this is where it calculates the um, the date so it's just comparing the dates inside uh, the dates it's looking at and then you know, if it's uh, earlier, then it basically moves the start date earlier, and then if it's later, it moves the um, the end date later. And then later on, you can see where it sets the actual uh, date range right there. 
Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and run this. So to run this, I'm going to click on the play button uh, right there, or the, um, I guess, execute button. <clears throat> And then you can see it loads up milestones, so it calls milestones automatically, and then it has this option here to keep schedule open. Otherwise, it'll just close the um, uh, file, so just kind of keep that in mind. But you can see kind of what it did there. So it um, created this kind of outlined uh, schedule based on the Excel information. So I am going to be making some changes to this and kind of rerunning the program, but before I do that, I'm going to go to the Help tab and show you guys where the Automation Help is. So if you click on the Help tab and then in the bottom left of the Help tab, you've got Automation Help. So that's going to pop up and it has a lot of other examples uh, right here. So example applications, etc. And then also all methods. So. Um, you can kind of see there's a lot of different methods you can call, and I think add symbol is one of the main ones. Um, it's got a lot of different arguments, um, you know, kind of based on how you want the symbol to look and, um, you know, what spot in the toolbox to use, etc. Um, but you can see all of these uh, various uh, methods right here um, that we've got. Um, a lot of them are, you know, pretty important, um, so you might want to take a look at those just to understand you know, if you're looking at these examples, kind of what these methods are actually doing, you can just kind of click on them and then just see, you know, exactly uh, what uh, the method actually does. Um, so that's the help. Let me close out of that. Um, and then I said earlier, if you go um, to the Tools tab, you've got this Folders option, and that's where you can actually change the default uh, folder for the templates. So if I click on folders, um, you can see the personal templates is just my documents folder. So if this is different, um, then that's where you need to place that uh, Excel uh, MTP file. Um, it's going to be in that folder. That's where the uh, program is going to be looking uh, for that template. So just keep that in mind. That's why I put the Excel template in this documents folder. That's just kind of the default location for personal templates. Um, so yeah, press uh, cancel there. I'm actually going to change this template a little bit and then um, change the code as well. So in the Excel file, I've actually got <clears throat> um, 21 uh, tasks. So it's cutting off after 6.2 since the code is only covering uh, 17 tasks. And then also there's no um, summary bar right here. So if I wanted to add a summary bar, I'd go to the Layout tab and go to Summary Bar Settings. And I could just choose a summary bar. Um, it's just going to be using um, one of the bars inside the toolbox, uh, which you can kind of see if I move the window over. So it'll be using that second bar right there. And obviously, you can change, um, you know, you can change this uh, template later if you don't like how it looks. But um, that's kind of how this is going to be set up right here. Um, so it's going to be using that. And then also, like I said, in the layout tab, 21. Um, rows, I think, is probably going to get all of the tasks. And so I'm going to save this as a personal template. So save as a personal template. And it's in my documents folder right there. And I'm just going to overwrite this Excel template one.mtp. and overwrite that. So now it should use this uh, personal template uh, when I run that code. So I'm going to close milestones. I don't need to save the actual schedule. It's going to rebuild it when I run the code. And I'm going to go back here, uh, back to that, uh, that code right there, and I'm just going to say 1 to 21. Um, so I think that's probably the only change I need to make. So now it's going to look at 21 rows of information and I'm going to press that run button again. And you can see it's building the schedule based on that uh, template change I made. So I, uh, you know, I chose the summary bar to show that and it's putting the summary bars there. And then also it's got the 20 run rows in the schedule and then also it brought over the 21 rows of information. So before it was just stopping at task 6.2 and not bringing in anything else. And I could see it brought in pretty much everything from that Excel file. 
So that's just kind of a basic intro to how our automation works in Milestones Professional. Um, if you have any questions, you know, check out that automation help or you can email support at kidasa.com and be sure to visit kidasa.com for the latest news. Have a nice day.